guys, welcome back to Theology. If you would like to know where I am this time on my adventure of slavery, stay tuned. Welcome to Theology. on my traveling through South Carolina and Georgia, looking and exploring about slavery. So guys, where I am today is civil blood established in the early 1700s. In between 1735 to 1736. So guys, what is all this has to do with slavery? Well, I'm going to take you there, so stay tuned. been on this journey and this would make my fourth location. The first location was in McCormick, South Carolina, Murdoch. And to stand that close to where a slave that could have been related to me or you was actually living in this house that I can stand there by the road and actually put my hand out to touch it. Then going over to Louisville, Georgia, and to be in front of a part of history where our forefathers actually were sold like they were cattle. Um, guys, when I saw the plaque on the ground, I wanted to get up closer so you can see exactly what the plaque said. The feeling and the overwhelmness of um, walking up there and actually knew to know that slaves walked on this part of this ground and was actually sold as they were livestock. And after they bid it on a slave, they rang that bell. Um, that actually took me to a different direction of how I felt and also learning so much. Now, on yesterday, I went to Edgefield, South Carolina um, to look at some of the things and actually with going there, touching that book of the African Americans that was sold as slaves. And to open up there and to see the names, and they only had, the slaves only had first names, and now I'm not sure if you knew that. Um, slaves only had first names. They got their surnames from the slave owner. 
So looking at that, I saw Peter, I saw Tommy, I saw all these different names with absolutely no last name. So their last name became the slave owner's last name. Once it got up to a certain time and slavery actually stopped, um, when the slaves became free, they had the options of changing their last name. Some of them did keep their last name. Now, another bit of history. Where I went today, I did go to other places. The next segment will be on tomorrow, which is very overwhelming. But standing on Civil Bluff Baptist Church um, grounds, it's a whole different ballgame. Um, you know, this church was an honorary something for a slave because they could go to church with Caucasians, but sit separately. But the thing about it is the African-Americans took over the church, the slaves. So the man that actually owned the church gave the church to the slaves. So guys, this church still stand, some of the old part of the church still stand, but of course the church was rebuilt for standards of nowadays. Um, while I was there, standing on that grass, guys, um, you knew that they walked miles to get to this church. Um, it's a whole different ballgame, guys. That's what I can tell you. For me going to these experiences and going to actually these places, it gives you a different type of feel. Me as an African-American. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you this. The next time you walk out of your home and you step foot into your grass, what I want you to do is stop, look around, look at the trees, look at the ground. It is the ground that a slave has walked. It could have been grounds that a slave picked cotton in. Any type of thing that young babies was born and the mothers have the babies on their back, right after their, a day after they just had a child and their babies on their back and they picking cotton. Um, as I was going from plantation to where the slaves was actually sold, I was driving and it was not a short drive. And I was like, so these slaves walked with chains around them, feet, neck, and connected chains. And they walked all these miles in this dirt, over rivers, no pavement, no water, no food, to be sold like cattle. And if you really want me to put it there, guys, um, what do they do to cows? They stamp them. So guys, I want you to think about that. This is not to put down our heritage to me, not theology, but to me, Vandessa, I want honestly to say, I think every last one of the slaves are what they went through. Because if it was not for them, we would not be here and the type of things that we deal with now. Um, what they dealt with back then, we don't deal with that now. Um, a lot of people say, well, you know, slavery is still here. Under cer certain circumstances, yes. But we have more rights and equal rights 
way, they had absolutely no rights. At one given time, African Americans, slaves, could not vote. Once the males got a chance, they could vote. The females still could not vote. But guys, as African Americans, when I speak about voting, it is your right. Your right. You need to be to the polls before the polls open. Because they have died to give us our rights to vote. They have given up their rights for us to sit in any restaurant that we want to and actually own these restaurants. Um, it is a historic high school here um, that I didn't know anything about. And I am going to go over to the high school and talk to you about the high school. It still stands. So guys, I am still on this journey. Um, I still have some other places that I am going to go to. The one tomorrow, guys, is an, a complete eye-opener because I did go to another museum. So, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to let you look at the rest of this with this church. And, again, it is in Aiken County, South Carolina. The church is Civil Bluff Baptist Church. So, Please like, subscribe, and thumbs up my video, guys. Please share this out. Share it out to your Facebook page, your Instagram. We need to know knowledge. We need serious knowledge. Slavery started in the South. And the things that I have found out, even about a plantation, a plantation, guys, let me give you a quick definition of what a plantation is because it educated me. A plantation was a huge home that a slave owner could afford that had lots of land to it. Every plantation did not have slaves working there. But guys, 98% of plantations was ninety-eight percent of ninety-eight percent of plantations was had a lot of dealing with slavery for the simple reason they had the cooks. They had someone watching their children. They had slaves that did their gardening and farming. So uh, yes, it still has a lot to do with a plantation. But what I found out, a lot of plantations was not, there was no slaves there. So guys, um, on my next video, which will be tomorrow, I was actually in a home that slaves lived in. So if you would like to see that video, please tune in for tomorrow, February the, should I record that? Well, should I put that one up tomorrow? Yes, I am. So that will be February the 24th, 21st of 2020. So guys, I am bringing you this. Um, I'm getting ready to get off there today. It's my mother's birthday. So my mom would have been 68 years old today. So um, yeah. So guys, this is another part of your celebrity history. I am Vandessa Dunlap and thank you for being here with me. So until the next time guys, 